Why get Lego when you can just play Minecraft, Tony? That's what I'm saying. That that's that's what it's. I mean, if I, it doesn't quite have the same functionality, and it, I think I think Minecraft should have uh, like little cubes, hmm. um, but it's Wait, there's, cheaper. There's, much there's, cheaper. Mi- there's Minecraft Lego, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is, and Lego Worlds, which is Minecraft Lego Minecraft. You love it's it. It's all very confusing. You know, it's like Minecraft. Uh Alien Swarm. Uh, is it? No. <laughs> uh so do you remember Alien Swarm? Yes, I do. So Alien Swarm was a game that came out from Valve, but I think they were working with someone else at the time. Um and basically it came out and then it just completely got forgotten about. Um it was like a... artifacts. Yeah. It was a top-down, four-person cooperative multiplayer game. And I don't know, I remember people didn't like it. And I remember playing it before and being like, I thought this game was okay. And I was like, you know what? I'll have a look at Alien Swarm. Because I saw it on Steam. There's Alien Swarm Reactive Drop. So the original Alien Swarm came out in 2010. And there right. was an okay. Alien Swarm Reactive Drop is... Uh, was released in 2017. Um, oh, okay. That basically was like Alien Swarm, um, but with a bunch of updates. So it had like workshop support, stats, um, achievements, stuff like that. So it had a bunch of like right. quality of life features added to it, which I thought, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Uh, it's got a bunch of new features added to it. I'll check out Alien Swarm again and see what it's like. Um, and it's still the original Alien Swarm was free to play, and Alien Swarm Reactive Drop is free to play as well. So I got some. Okay, so it's still free. Yeah, so I I got about f- five friends together to play. You can play up to eight players in Alien Swarm. Did you know that? What? That's yeah, crazy. you can play up to eight players. I thought I just thought it was four four people. So did I. Um, is that in the, the new version? I don't know if the original one was four player. Let me check. I swear the yeah the like f- def- Definitely before 2017 that I played as the only four Tactical people. four player cup action game. Yeah, so the first one was four player, but the yeah, reactor that's what I remember. up to eight players. Um, yeah, I, re- I remember playing the original, like, I don't know, like 2014 maybe, and I was like, mm. eh, I don't really like this. Like, I played one level and was like, this isn't for me. So I was like, I'm going to go back. I remember Alien Swarm being, okay, let's go back and try it. And I think... I still don't like Alien Swarm from going back and playing it. I don't know. There's right. there's something about it where um, it's the it, 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 I you know I love Left 4 Dead and yeah. Left 4 Dead is great because it's like the ultimate co-op FPS where you just throw it on and you can just play Left 4 Dead with anyone. Yeah, and it's it can be challenging, but it's never too challenging. I feel like Alien Swarm is. The opposite of that, where it's top down, it's very tactical. You need to do heals at certain points. You yeah. have to. It, it, I feel like a lot when I played, I remember game, game. Like, locked in. Like you had to have like this. You can weld doors and stuff like. Yeah, there's a lot of like technical stuff in it, and yeah, I don't know. It just felt a bit overcomplicated um, for what it was. Another interesting yeah. thing about like um, workshop support and Alien Swarm Reactor Drop is there's mod support, and I think. I got it to work, so if you host the lobby, you can use your mods for everyone who joins, or they have to download it or something. So I was like, well, I think I don't like Alien Swarm because it's a top-down shooter. I really like first-person shooters. Why don't I get a mod that turns Alien Swarm into a uh, first-person shooter? So here it is. Here it is. Does, Um, Does it improve it? I think it improved the perspective for me, like... I felt like yeah, I... Yeah, but I feel like it still have all the other problems, right? I feel like if the game was designed as a first-person shooter, I would have liked it more. Like, I think I... Yeah. It's, it is interesting to see the game from this perspective. It gives you a whole new, like, appreciation for the game. I just... I I quite like... There's, like, a couple of twin-six shooters. Like, I don't really play twin-six shooters anymore. Right. Like, top-down shooters. But, like, there was, like, a couple I used to play. Like, I quite liked the idea of it. I just like this didn't really, like... This didn't tickle, like, what I wanted from a top-down mm. shooter at all. But, like, it seemed it could have done on the surface. It just, like, it didn't feel right. 
You have gun guns and ammo are super limited. You have to like tactically reload. It's more like the enemies is really interesting to me though. It's more like um back for blood I would say than it is left for dead sort of like aliens one more. Right. Back for blood's way more tactical than left for dead it was like a fun couch co-op like Left for Dead is um, Deep Rock Galactic, where you run around shooting bugs, and then mm. Back for Blood is like Alien Swarm, where it's like tactical. Ca- there was another game that came out, and I always forget the name of it, and I always reference it, but I always forget the name of it. <laughs> it was Wait, made by it? the original Payday devs. Oh, I, I think I know what you're referencing, but I don't remember the name either. And it's a game where you have to, like, sneak around, like, alien mutant creatures. And I'm like, I played that yeah. game, and it was super slow, and it wasn't yeah. anything like Payday, but that's exactly, like, the difference. Like, it shows you where you can make a completely different game to, like, the one you made before. Or Yeah, even though, even if you're like, using, like, similar style point. Yeah. I can picture, well, the, lo- I can the, picture the gameplay and the logo in my head. <laughs> I remember... You, don't, you, don't, you did a video on it, right? Like, I'm not imagining... I think we did a tangerine on it. Yeah, yeah. It had a VR mod and I talked about it. It's going to really annoy me if I can't remember it. <laughs> did it have blood in the name? Uh, maybe. Why? No, I don't know. I'm just trying try to narrow it down in my head. Like, 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 kind of like, guess who? Guess who? Or like, what does this, this image remind you of? Just try and get me... GTFO! GTFO right. is the name What does that game. stand for? <laughs> get the flip out, I believe it stands for. Oh, okay. But someone made like a native VR mod for that, which is why I'm saying... Okay. But that game is like a hardcore cop FPS with like yeah, so or very or like yeah, like if you like just try to go guns blazing, you like immediately die, right? Yeah, and that's like. Yeah. But yeah, I tried playing in first person. Um, yeah, and I prefer playing in first person, but it it's easy to play. It's easy to tell like. A lot. The game wasn't obviously wasn't designed to be played. In no, person, low textures. But like no, but like just interacting with consoles hybrid? and stuff like that is um, work. And I was like, "Well, you can do custom mods. Why don't we try out a custom level?" So I was oh like, "Oh my god!" I wanted to play Left for Dead in <laughs> Alien Swarm. So why don't we just why? play? Because I love I love Left because I want to like Alien Swarm, but I I don't. Right. And right. I love Left for Dead, so let's try my, this. My... My problem is that you you mentioned Deep, Deep Rock Galactic. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good game of bugs in. Yeah, it's a better game than this. I just I just want to play Deep Rock Galactic now. I don't. I I'd ne- I'd never played Alien Swarm Reactive Drop, and I was like, I'm gonna give this game another chance to like play it again because yeah. I remember it. I think playing giving it a chance before, is fine, and then like, other like peop- like never touching it again. And I yeah. wanted to see what it was like in 2021. And I gotta say. I don't think I like Alien Swarm. I, <laughs> that's what I got to say about Alien Swarm. Yeah, I mean, it's not nothing. Nothing here is like. But it is. It me. is free to play. Like, and also, if you want to play this, I'd recommend playing Alien Swarm Reactive Drop because uh, when I was getting some friends to download this, they were like, "Alien Swarm." I found this game from 2010, and I was like, "No, Reactive Drop. That's the one I'm <laughs> playing." Um, it's weird how they kept the old one. Yeah, I guess it's just for people to keep playing on i mean it's a valve game so i, th- I guess valve would have to remove the original alien swarm oh, yeah i wonder if there's like a like a technical reason why they didn't or didn't like update so i guess the original i guess the developers of who are the oh alien yeah maybe swarm devs they were like oh we're gonna make we're gonna re-release this and valve was just like yeah okay oh okay that makes more sense okay because I think it was a, it was a case where Valve just hired the original. It was like so it was a top down video game. Um, it was originally a mod for Unreal Tournament two thousand and four that was developed by an original team. Then Valve bought the team and got them to make the game for them. Which is like if you know Valve, you know every single game they made apart from Half Life 
is a mod that someone else made and then they they <laughs> yeah. bought the team and then they developed into a full game for them. Um not not port. Not Bacula Drop. Yeah. Team Fortress Classic, the uh It, the it is insane, like when game. you say like like other than Half Life, like, it's literally just Half Life, right? Like it's their their own Um Well yeah, because Dota was made by yeah. Ice Frog Stu- I think it was Ice Frog. That was definitely a That was a, or a custom map, I guess. And um Underlords and Artifact came from Dota, so mm-hmm. the last game Valve made was Half Life Alex. Yeah. For a long time. But yeah, all the IPs are the one that they made, made like themselves. Half Life. You know, yeah. They they own. Anyway. Let's move on to a similar game in the crew two. Um no, just kidding. This game is <laughs> very, very similar. Very, very similar. similar games. Um I don't know if you know this, Tony. I well, I don't know if people know this, but I really like just booting up a like arcadey racing game and just driving or you right. know flying or being on a motorbike. For the longest time, my like arcadey racing game I would play would be GTA Five. I would just go in GTA oh, really? Five and I would just yeah I would just I'd just like drive around. Or would I would drive around. Missions? I would listen. No, I just drive around, listen to the okay. radio. I would get in a plane. Go Four flying. Horizon Four. That's what we need. I don't have that game. I don't know that game, unfortunately. But um, the problem with GTA Five was it took forever to load up. I mean, they they sort of fixed it recently, but like, yeah, GTA Five is still a pain to launch this day. And I was like, I, I sort of just want to play another game where I can just launch it up and I can be driving around and then boom, I can be in a plane and then bam, yeah. I can be in a boat or whatever. Okay. Which is That's stuff I like to do. And I was like, oh, um, I've heard good things about the crew and the crew too. And I never played the crew one, but I heard that essentially it was just worth playing the crew two instead because it was basically the crew well, one no, more features. I, I guess other than like the the place or, or vehicles, I guess mm. it's not crew two. Just to me, it sounds like just like crew one but better. Mm. Um, but yeah, the the crew two is set basically. It's just like a map of the U.S. And basically what you do is you basically just go to events and you'll you'll drive, you'll fly planes, you'll crash boats, and the, the whole thing you do is you just collect you get they have a system where you're collecting followers for your social that's one of the ways you oh, rank up. Okay. Right, right. Um by doing like Classic. crazy stunts and stuff like that. And that's how you oh, get, okay like, with that. Like there's a lot of yeah. popularity with extreme sports. That's kinda of like a common thing actually. Like I quite like that. That's fun. And then I think because I think it... every single vehicle in this game has a nitrous boost in it. That's how arcadey the racing is. <laughs> um, which I okay. Like. Yeah. That's a lead the police after you. Nitro boosting on my motorbike. You know? So I think that's one thing. Like I like I I I think I would personally like load up like GTA and like drive around because like I I like the um the cops and like running away from cops mm. experience though. Like yeah. the, like the um well I night, mean night at, driving or like at, um. Street drive racing. Um, one of my favorite things to do is just like it's at night and it's raining, and I'll just drive around in a car listening yeah, to the radio yeah. in GTA Five. I mean, like, I was thinking about this the other day. People are like, people always say, "What's your guilty pleasure game?" And I feel like my guilty pleasure games are like GTA Online. I love GTA Online. I don't think I've played a single second of GTA Five single player. I have like Could my two not? my two hundred hours in GTA are GTA Online. Oh like I never I never played the single player. Um, I just drive around. I find the exact opposite. And I do heists. Um, so I feel like my guilty pleasure games are like GTA Online and like um, Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I like my guilty pleasure games because I just absolutely love playing those games. But both the companies are pieces of shit. So yeah. Well, it could be worse. Um, Your guilty pleasures could be shit games. Right, but I I think some people would say stuff like GTA Online is a shit game. Like I, I don't think a lot of people like. Yeah, GTA I Online. don't get the appeal. Like it seems way too like grindy. Mm. But yeah. Uh, but the thing I love about this game is the fact that literally, I think this is the two, basically you just click on the map, and then you go from a car, and then you're in a plane, and then it's like. Um, I usually hate flying in games. I really like the flying oh, really? in the crew too. The flying okay. in the crew too is really fun. 
I think the flying was, may be some of my favorite arcade parts. Arcadey flying is, is yeah. yeah, normally much more fun. Especially Flight Beginners, which I am, I, I assume you are. But it's like, um, what was it? I, I needed to fly a plane in Battlefield Five for like a challenge or something. And I just remember like, every time I get in the plane, I'm like, oh, I feel sick. I can't control yeah, like, this. I hate don't, this. Don't, yeah, they have to like learn how to like fly planes or like, any aerial vehicle in like Battlefield games. Mm. Well, well, sorry, it's not in Battlefield 2042. You just get in the hovercraft. You just get in the hovercraft and you go to space. Yeah. Drive up the side <laughs> of a building. <laughs> well, you know, Tony, speaking about Battlefield 2042, do you know Farming Simulator had more players than uh, Battlefield 2042? <laughs> I, do, I do only because you told me before we started recording Tangerine. So you love to see it, really. And and, and it's it's total. Oh, sorry, it's what's the what's the, what's the phrasing like? It's max peak players. Like, max was concurrent slightly players. Slightly more. Yeah, it was slightly more than Battlefield 2042 as well. That's insane. Hmm. What what are, what a world we live in? Are you, are you going to season things in this as well? I, just, yeah. I, I was just thinking this was like, oh, right, we're doing... Oh, it's New York is fucking tiny, okay. <laughs> is that just because you're in a planet? Yeah. So but I was going to a challenge there, and um, but I entered in a... Plane and normally you that's not risky enough. There. You should just instantly touch the side of that wall. Basically, uh, you, as you, you'll yeah. see, I'm gaining followers as I'm doing stunts. I'm doing air drifts. There's like loops, yeah, cool. like flying up into the air, and then like I flying think... straight down and stuff like that. My my opinion of this is kind of just like okay, it's cool to have all this stuff, but like I, as I was saying, like I think I would like to like I think like GTA GTA Five, like that's just like that's what I would want. This, like, or like you'd have to like actually like go up to a vehicle and get into it. Like I kind of want that experience. I don't. Yeah, like that's just something about the get anywhere that really ruins it for me. There's no that you never get out of a vehicle. There's no like foot. Um, yeah, which stuff. you can get away with because like um, Need for Speed Carbon. Like it's one of the only Need for Speed games I've ever played. Like right. you don't get out either. But like I just find that's more grounded. You have to, like you have to drive to the races. You have to run away from the police. Mm. So I'm just a street racer kind of guy. The the gameplay of the crew too. I actually really like this game, and I really wanted to talk about it because it's like, I feel like not a lot of people like play this game or would immediately just be like, ah, oh, it's another Ubisoft game. Let's not talk about it. it. Like, yeah, it had weird advertising though. I feel like it was confused on like who they wanted to have play this game. I feel like Ubisoft make a lot of these games where they just make. What was that ge- the game that came out this year? It was like. Something Wait, writers or something. Game where, came out, I don't know. I, I kind of like given up on Ubisoft. Like not just. I do find of... it funny that the Ubisoft company that makes the crew is called Ivory Tower, and I'm just like, <laughs> it's so funny. There's literally a Ubisoft <laughs> company that just, makes games just about. Just company as you are. Just, just, just make a game about million dollar like vehicles called Ivory Tower, and I'm like, that's yeah. that's Ubisoft in a nutshell. Oh, you can put smoke trails on in your plane and make shapes as well. Yeah, but I, I kind of just like I like I, Ubisoft's got the point is like even like before like um I knew like all like the harassment issues that are going on, mm. like it's kind of like oh, they started making like the same game. I I have friends who say like they like the new Assassin's Creed game, but I look at it and go, that's not for me. I miss the old Assassin's Like I like all like the old stuff, and like they're not they're not bringing back like Prince of Persia's. They're not. Mm. Uh Yeah, this is like the perfect game to just jump into stuff and just immediately just yeah do stuff. The I only could, I my, could appreciate that. My only issues are the Ubisoft stuff. So my only issues yeah. are the fact <laughs> I have to launch UPlay. Do you have to be signed in, like while you're playing it? I don't know if I always have to be signed in, but I have to like launch UPlay Connect or whatever the hell it is, and then my big gripe Just about the game play. is my 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 big gripe is you know I said it takes forever to launch up GTA. The problem with the crew too is there's this super long intro that is unskippable and it takes forever oh, to get through. Yeah, is that like a fake loading screen? Yeah, it's like a fake loading screen or like. A hidden loading screen, maybe. And it's not like a video file you can delete. The game will not launch if you try and skip it. That like, you can't sounds like it's it. actually loading in assets, then. Yeah. It's just annoying. Like, I, I, I'm really looking for that. I'm, I'm, I love the crew, too, I feel like, and GTA 9, the clothes I've got. But I'm looking for that arcade game where I just... I'm flying a plane. 
I'm driving a car. Right. I'm on a I, I I'm on a boat. I'm just I'm just driving around for the fun of driving around. That's that's the sort of arcade game I want to play. And when I can get one of those games where I just launch it up and immediately I'm going, that's when I'm like, yo, this is a very good game. Right, right. That's fair. I I, I never like thought like that because I've always been like, oh, I want like um, I I want consequences in my game. I feel like I like this like to like more greater experiences like every every year. I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, th this is one of my favorite little modes as well. There's like a fucking Need for Speed mode where um, the theme is... It, 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 <laughs> Very arcade -y. Well, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, you, you, um, it's in LA, so this is a movie studio. And oh, okay. You're actually, the, the idea is you're, you're shooting a film about an action movie about cops, and then you have a time limit and you have to bring down... It reminds me of Burnout. Where you have mm. a time limit. Actually, I should have said burnout. I just thought of the cops thing because the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. But it's more, it's like burnout where um, you have to take down a certain amount of cars in an allotted amount of time. And I love yeah. this. I love how it looks. Where it's like it's this gritty, realistic new movie st stuff. But then also you have like the green screens and like the vid the the <laughs> yeah. the video cameras and stuff. And I I I think this is like one of the best events you can do it it's really fun like that there's really cool stuff inside of this but it's like you know it's not like content heavy game it's it's more like there's small events dotted around the world where it's just yeah. mostly about just driving around like a big open world sort of thing. i think when i looked at this when it came out i just looked, looked at it, it kind of like looks like it's sparse on content for me mm. personally well, this is actually better than I, I thought it was going to be, so... Yeah, I just... The Crew 2 is on sale, and I was like, oh, I'm looking for a racing game, let me check this out. So, uh, yeah, if you're uh, interested in uh, the Crew 2 or Alien Swarm Reactive Drop, uh, check this <laughs> out. And uh, okay. see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.